In this video, we're gonna discuss the basics of wound care and how to address common wounds you'll see in the urgent care. Most wounds that present to the urgent care are acute wounds, things like minor burns, abrasions, or sometimes deep lacerations that need to be sutured. You may be asked to apply a dressing to an abscess that was drained in the clinic. While we sometimes see chronic wounds, acute wounds are much more common, so that will be the focus of this video. The best dressings are those that provide and maintain an optimal environment for wound healing. That's an environment that has a relatively high humidity that keeps the wound moist, but doesn't cause maceration or breakdown of the surrounding tissue. It's a dressing that's clean and free of contaminants and that protects the wound. Dressing should not adhere to the wound and be easy to remove. There are lots of different types of dressings used in wound care. Two types of dressings you'll encounter in an outpatient clinic like urgent care or primary care are low adherent dressings and semi-permeable membranes. Low adherent dressings like this one here are good for flat or shallow wounds that don't have a lot of exudates or drainage. As the name implies, these dressings are less likely to stick to the wound and are comfortable to remove. Semi-permeable membranes like this one here are transparent films that protect the wound from bacteria and fluids. They're not great if there's a lot of exudates. These are really useful as a secondary dressing, meaning you would have a primary dressing, like a gauze, that would go on top of the wound, and then you would use this on top of that gauze. These two types of dressings can be used both for acute or chronic wounds. Hydrocolloid and hydrogel dressings are moist dressings, and these are useful for wounds that are dry, commonly used for chronic wounds. And then foam dressings and alginate, these are our absorbent dressings and are really helpful for wounds when there's a lot of drainage. So now that we've run through the common types of dressings, let's run through the supplies that you may have in your urgent care center. The first are adhesive bandages. We're all very familiar with these. They come in different sizes and are easy to apply. Next are woven gauze pads. These come as four by four or two by two most commonly. Non-adherent gauze pads, which we just talked about, also coming in various sizes. We have our semi-permeable membrane or transparent films. These also come in various sizes. We have stockinette. So this is a fabric tubular type of dressing supply. You often see these used under splints or under casts, but they can also be used to hold on a dressing. And then lastly, tube gauze. And we have a separate video that covers how to apply tube gauze. So now that we've covered the different types of dressings and the supplies you'll need, let's talk about the dressings you'll use for those common acute wounds in the urgent care. As always, keep in mind that every clinic has different supplies available and protocols, and every clinician has their own preferences when it comes to wound care. The first one that we're gonna cover is the traumatic wound. These can range from a superficial abrasion or a skin tear to a laceration, which may need to be sutured in the clinic. For all traumatic wounds, topical antibiotic ointment has been shown to reduce rates of infection. But just be aware of those with neomycin sensitivity, which is pretty common. So for that reason, I tend to stick with something that doesn't have neomycin, like bacitracin. The type of dressing for a traumatic wound depends on several different factors. The size of the wound, where that wound is located, and if suture is replaced, the type of suture material, whether it's absorbable or non-absorbable. For small superficial wounds, oftentimes all you need is an adhesive bandage. For larger wounds or ones that require a little bit more protection, a sterile gauze dressing is recommended. Let's walk through the steps for how to apply a sterile gauze dressing. But again, remember, every provider is a little different, so you should always check in with them to see if they have a preference. I like these types of dressings for lacerations, especially if they were sutured and located on an extremity. For this procedure, you'll need topical antibiotic ointment, gauze pads, and then something to hold the dressing onto the surrounding skin. So the first step is to practice good hand hygiene, wash your hands, and then don a pair of gloves, which I've already done. Next, you're gonna apply the topical antibiotic ointment. And then the sterile gauze pad. You've got a couple different options here, again, depending on the supplies you have available and your clinician's preference. You can use dry gauze, in this case, the antibiotic ointment is really helpful to prevent this dry gauze from sticking to the wound, especially if you've got sutures there. You can also use a non-stick gauze pad, and oftentimes that's all you need, but if your provider wants a little bit more padding or cushioning, you can apply the dry gauze pad on top. And then next we need to secure the dressing. This is most commonly done with paper tape. As a pro tip, because this can be a little fumbly and stick to your gloves, go ahead and rip the strips of the paper tape before you start this process. Could you hold that for me? And 
And I'm just gonna apply this to the perimeter of the dressing. You could also use one of the semi-permeable membranes instead of paper tape. And this actually is really a great way to add that extra layer of protection. Again, um, it prevents water from getting in the dressing, so that can be a really nice touch. And then some providers like to use cling wrap to secure the dressing. Just make sure that when you put it on, it's not too tight. If a wound is sutured, we recommend that these dressings we place in the clinic stay on for 24 hours before the patient removes it. So make sure the dressing you put on in clinic is nice and secure. A dry gauze dressing is also recommended for drain abscesses. Just make sure that that dressing is sufficient to absorb and contain any extra drainage. So put on some extra gauze pads. If your clinic has them, foam, alginate, or hydrocolloid dressings can also be used. Most burns that present to an outpatient clinic are superficial, so we're going to dress them in the same fashion. We're going to put on the topical antimicrobial agent like bacitracin and a non-adherent dressing. That covers the basic dressings in the urgent care setting. This is Hippo Education.